Hey everybody, how's it going? Happy Sunday. It's Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. So today's video is just kind of a hangout, chat, Q&A, and then also do the um, giveaway winners. We had, I have a giveaway going for hitting 16,000 subs. I'm so, so grateful for that. Um, and so I had a giveaway, or I'm hosting a giveaway, and I'm going to drop for the, the, the winners for that. So I thought I would go ahead and do that, get that part out of the way in the beginning in case you're here just checking for giveaway results. And then we'll jump into our chat and I'll talk about how last week went and some of the really cool things coming up this week. And yeah, all right, so let's do this. Now here's the deal. So the giveaway, I'm giving away two things. One is a merch shirt design and keywords and everything. And then the other was a choice between either a jewelry jar or a $20 PayPal gift card. So I'm going to do the pick a winner and you had to have said which one you wanted in the thing. Some some people didn't didn't say. So where did the thing go? Um, I'm gonna try to screen share so you guys can see it. Pick a winner, here we go. All right, let me screen share real fast. I feel bad, because like, what if I screen share and the person that didn't put what they were gonna win, what they wanted, right? And then they get disqualified. I don't know, don't be upset. All right, here we go, pick a winner. So let's see, first winner, oh yay, Gina. Um, Gina wants a merch design. All right, so Gina, you're the winner for the merch shirt and design and keywords and everything. Okay, so the next part is the part I'm gonna, it's a little tricky. Oh, hey, 20 viewers, hello, Cheryl. I am live, so if you're say if you're here, live, say hey. Um, all right, so, okay, well, that works out. So whoever, if, if I draw somebody else and they say merch shirt as well, I have to pick somebody else because Gina already got the merch shirt, okay? <laughs> so let me screen share again and see who, okay, again, if I click pick a winner and it says merch shirt, I have to pick somebody else because Gina already won it. Okay, so next is... Um, jewelry jar. Oh, in Australia. Um, Kathy, we're going to have to talk about jewelry jar to Australia because I didn't limit it. So we'll have to find out how much it costs. Okay. So Kathy, I will give me an email or, or send me an email rather, and then we'll figure out, <laughs> we'll figure out how either I'm going to do that or I didn't limit it. So I guess I, you know, I'm a woman of my word. So there we go. <laughs> All right. So how's, um, yeah, how's your week been? How's my week been? How are y'all doing? So if you're here live, uh, let me know. You know how things have been going. How are your sales? How have your sales been doing? Because oh my gosh, mine are not awesome. <laughs> so, um, okay, okay. So basically, I put as the title of the show. You know, um, it's not like riding a bike. So I, I last year I spent most of my time focusing on my merch by Amazon. And this year, now that merch has been a little bit more, I, I don't know, unpredictable, I've really started trying to ramp my reselling back up. And it is totally my own fault for not practicing what I preach and not putting all my eggs in one basket. I mean, I was still making sales, still listing like kind of lightly, you know, not like I was. And now that I've spent the last couple of weeks really trying to ramp that back up and getting my listings up, and you know, normally when you know you start listing more, you start seeing that momentum and still start trickling back in, and then it, you know, your engines it gets back in the normal swing of things. But I feel like I'm just like, like they say, like feeding the beast. But my beast is constipated or something because it's not, <laughs> it's not sending me uh, any sales. I don't know. So I'm really just trying to um, have faith that I am front loading success, right? I'm just having to tell myself, just keep listing, just keep listing, just keep listing, just keep listing, you know, uh, and the success and the sales will come, you know, things will start rolling along. Um, but it's been super slow. And yeah, that's just real. I mean, luckily, well, not luckily, I, you know, I, I put all that, I spent last year really um, pushing all those shirts. So I'm still making those, the merch money, but 
it like you know if you're doing merch by Amazon you know there's it's up and down um, so let me say hey in the chat real fast hey Cheryl and R Simmons um pardon me hello Fatima how are you from London and oh you missed the sign up darn 12 pounds says so slow with sales yeah um, miss the sign up. Oh no, for the giveaway. Yeah, sh um, follow me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures. And also, if you're not like in, um, I think I posted an inter international league of thrifters and Merch University. So those are the three main places I posted. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe and hit that little bell so you'll get notified or see when I put new videos out. Yeah, St. Patrick shirts are not selling. Brian says, "Darn, hang on, let me mute my phone." Suddenly, my friends are like, "Hey, what you doing? What you doing?" Okay. <laughs> Speaking of that, that was Chris talking to me about, I think, the figures. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I see you're on the thrifting board. Oh, yeah. Hey, Heather. Yeah. Um, Jason's a, a good buddy of mine. So, yeah, I'm on his. I just started posting on, on thrifting board again. I, I haven't been in a while. Uh, so what's up with those Star Wars and G.I. Joe? What's up with that adventure? Bill B says, if you guys didn't see, I don't know how you would have missed it. Because <laughs> I posted like three videos yesterday. I wasn't intending on it. Um, but yesterday I had an amazing haul. I went to a garage sale and the lady asked me, you know, do you, what, do, what kind of things are you looking for? And I said, well, I'm always looking for jewelry. She says, she didn't have any. Um, which I ended up finding some, but that was cool. Um, but I, you know, I said, well, another thing I look for is I'm a homeschooler, so I'm always looking for stuff for that. Um, and so she started grabbing all this stuff for me. And in the meantime, I noticed this big giant tub full of Star Wars, like old Star Wars stuff. There was an ad at in there, Millennium Falcon. What caught my eye was the the Darth Vader head carrying case um, because my brother had that. And so nobody was paying attention to it. Oh, somebody men mess or left a comment and said, you know, were, were you having to guard over it because of other people? It's like nobody was looking at it. Um, and the, all the GI Joe stuff was out. Like the whole base was out on the driveway. No, and everybody was just walking by. So I didn't think anything of it at first because I was like, well, they must have asked and it was just, they wanted crazy money for it, right? Um, so, I just read something in the comments that threw my um, thought train process off. Um, so, yeah. So, finally, I was just like, well, how much do you want for the Jack Vader head, you know? And he was like, uh, oh, two bucks. So, I was like, okay, that's sold. And then um, I just said, well, how much for all of it? And he was like, you know what? Just take it because we're moving and you want to just take it, you know? And I'd already been talking to the wife about homeschooling and stuff. So, I was like, oh, okay you know um, are you sure i want to give you some more money and the lady was like well you know what just let me have the tub just let me have the tub back and and i said well i'll pay you for the tub it's, it's okay i don't mind i'll buy the tub from you um and she's she was like well we're moving and i really want this tub and finally she's like okay give me just give me five bucks for the tub so that's what i did so i walked out i spent twelve dollars and there was like a ton of gi like old G.I. Joe stuff, old um, Star Wars. And so I was doing a video yesterday. I was going to do I did just a quick haul video. And then I was going to do one where I just sat down and went through it all. And my phone <laughs> kept crashing. So it ended up being like three videos. Sorry. Sorry about that if you get notified every time I put out a video. Oops. Um, so, yeah, it was really... It, whether you you know whether you're into it's a blessing or whatever it, it but this you know there were some people commenting that well you know this this has been a hard time you know my husband losing his job and it's sort of like a nice sort of like a windfall for us to get something nice like this and we can work on cleaning it up and selling it Chris was just messaging me about cleaning up some of the figures and how to do that so that that's awesome Chris that Avalos thrift shop hustler there's like a billion Chris's out there right um, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, thanks, Kristen. She says, looking fancy today. I got my sparkly tank top on today. And I'm not sure what you mean the beast has a tapeworm. That's what threw my my, my train, train of thought off. Um, oh, 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 okay. I know what you mean now because I was feeding it and it's not giving me anything back, right? Um, oh, thanks. Thanks on the haul. Okay, I'm, I'm zooming back up. Oh, I saw Zahir. here. I'll come back. But yeah, it's, I really lost the haul, didn't I? Or not the hall. Gosh, the chat. Can I even talk today? Let me pop the chat out so I can see more of it. Um, 
wow, I really have missed a lot. So <laughs> scrolling back, GI Joe's. Heather says, I only sell on eBay. I'm doing well. I think that may be like, maybe I've spread myself out too much. Um, so I, I'm now I'm listing on Amazon or merch um, a couple days a week. I'll, I'll get my shirts up there. I'm not able to do both. It's just unrealistic. <laughs> you know, now that we're homeschooling and everything, it's just like no way for me to get, do 160 shirts on merch and get all these listings up on uh, eBay and Etsy and do YouTube and everything. Do you need help, sweetie? You got it? Okay, are you sure? Careful, it's climbing the counters. <laughs> um, so, okay. Yeah, he's a, yeah, okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. Hey, is it here? So tomorrow, since the here's here, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys, is here, you guys are gonna be there tomorrow, right? Tomorrow on my channel, uh, we're gonna have a reseller's prices right. Um, Nick Hills, started it you know we've done a few on his channel we did one on mine and just sort of like a celebration for six you know hitting that milestone and just for fun and so tomorrow it's noon central my time and then 6 p.m uk time we're gonna play reseller prices right which is super fun um and zahir i think is gonna be there i'm mean, gonna never i didn't see if you said yes or no but zahir and becca nick and andrea yes he'll be there yay okay um, Caroline, Tom was a maybe. I'll have to get back with him and see. So uh, let's see what else. Oh, hey, Joanne, this is the first time I caught you live. You never know what people want. This is true. Uh, <laughs> when you said $2, oh, yeah, right? Ryan says, when you said $2, I have milk come out of my nose. Oh, he says, yeah, you're so, your head was spinning. You were so hyped, right? Isn't that fun? I mean, I, I was just blown away. I, almost came straight home. And then Randy's like, no, just keep going. Keep looking around at other garages. I'll see if you find some other stuff. So, you know, you just have those days. That so was awesome. Um, Drop, did, Drop Thread Gorgeous says, have you ever thought about your husband joining you in your reselling to grow your eBay? I actually, I have. Um, I talked to him about that the other day because, I mean, he's, he, he's looking for a job, but that doesn't mean he's not working. So he's still, you know, I talked about it on another video where you know he's still getting up, he's still go, like going to work in his office, you know, applying for jobs, looking for jobs, but he's also working on an app, he's working on a website, he's constantly, you know, but he's like this all the time anyway, so he's always learning something new, learning, you know, brushing up his skills all the time. So, um, but I did say like, hey, you know, if this continue, you know, if we keep stretching it out, maybe you can help. We can devote some of this time to create some shirts for merch or list some things on eBay or just to, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, am I riding on a bike? Am I, am I doing this? I don't know. Um, I'm behind on the chat, sorry. Oh, thanks, Heather, thanks. She says, I'm happy when nice people find nice stuff. So, uh, last I kind of talked a little bit last week, things were pretty slow. I mean, my, my merch is doing okay, but that's, the way merch works is when you get paid out, it's for the month prior. So even if I'm doing well this month, I don't see that money till the end of next month. So January was super slow on merch. So when I get that payout, it's not as, it's not a whole lot this time. So, I mean, I don't know. Other than just keeping on listing is, kind of where where I'm at right now. Just gotta keep listing, kind of put the effort in into the areas where I'm able to con not control but to you know try to do better and try to make money for our, our home, right? So I don't know. Um yeah. I don't know. I feel like I don't know guys. I'm trying to have a happy face. I guess let's just be real, right? I'm trying to put on a happy face about it and try to stay positive, but it's not always it's not always positive, right? And and even you know, when you're trying, you just get low moments. And so that's uh I'm very happy about yesterday, but I'm not happy about slow sales.
Is it back on? Oh my yeah. gosh. Okay, I'm looking to see oh. <laughs> if it's on here. Is it back on? Let me see. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so frustrating. Okay. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys. I can't believe you're still here. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, am I going to have to stop? Am I going to have to restart it? I, I'll have to put in here like that it comes back, but the power just went zoom, the whole house, everything just went whoosh. And I was talking to you like, I know you guys think I didn't pay my bill. I know y'all think that, that we lost power, but we really did pay our bill. Um, <laughs> thanks guys. Um, yay, the power is back on. Yeah, so I don't know what just happened, but it went off and then it came back on. So I don't remember where I was. I think I was getting really depressed and just talking about that. So yeah, talking amongst ourselves, Heather says. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so it, it's been it's been tough and yeah, yeah. So I think I think if sales were a little better, you ain't gonna get me first, <laughs> send me some. Um yeah, I wouldn't be quite as as worried about about things because because my income, you know, kind of was a supplemental thing or things to I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. I don't know. How about you guys? Y'all talk. I don't want to talk about me. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Do you have any questions in the chat? Um, anything? Uh, thoughts become things, and you lose your power. Hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. Al Alice Alice Op says it's okay to feel depressed, but you'll see it doesn't stay that way. Life works out, and I do. And that's the thing. Like I really try to look at the positive, and I really do try to focus on what's going well. And I really do try to, you know, like, even if it's just, I have running water, that's more than a lot of people in this world can say, I have access to really great healthcare. You know, it's just like, there's so many things that I have got uh, to focus on. But then it's also like, then the power goes out and you're like, oh, that's part of it, right? Um, Amy says you need to have the downs to appreciate the ups. Yeah, totally. Um, did the kids strip the power? No, they came in armed. They like when the power, they had like their wooden swords and stuff, and they were like, what's going on? We're ready to attack. I'm like, nothing, guys. I don't know. I was looking to see if if they're doing construction outside or something. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, let's see. If I missed any questions or anything. Let me know. We are, oh, Heather says, we are, are old, so we have Medicaid. How do you manage healthcare? Well, that was actually kind of tricky because we didn't originally want to get on COBRA because it's crazy expensive. Um, and we are able to do the healthcare exchange because Randy lost his job. So, because some people were saying, oh, well, you can't, you know, it's open enrollment's over. But it, there's like a thing if you've lost your job that you can still you know, go into the healthcare market. So we did that, but the problem is, it's like there's a window every month. Like if you apply before the 15th of the month, then you can have it for the next month. Like before the 15th of January, we could have had it for February. But since it was after the 15th of January when we applied, we wouldn't be able to have it till March. It was, what? Like if we're willing to pay for it, who cares, right? So, we pay, we had to pay for this month with Cobra, which, uh, I mean, it's, it was ridiculous. Do you really want me on this soapbox? Because I've got some medical stuff going on. I don't, I don't know. I've talked about it a little bit, but I don't know. Eh. Anyway, so I was like, Randy, we have to have insurance. Like, I, because I'm about to have this procedure done and we have to have insurance, right? Um, so it was the same insurance, like the same. Co same group number ID, everything, sorry. <laughs> and, and so we paid the COBRA and suddenly the insurance is like, you don't have insurance anymore. Whenever they were, you know, go, we were going to the doctor and stuff, like, yeah, we do. Um, it's the same, we've already paid. It's the, we're supposed to ooh, just carry straight through. No, 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 no. Anyway, so it, it was just a big nightmare. It was a giant, giant nightmare. So anyway, we have our new, and we had already gotten our new healthcare cards in the mail for the next month and Cobra still hadn't 
caught up with whatever. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Don't. Um, <laughs> animal noises, angry animal noises. Yeah, but it's like with two little boys who rough house and a mommy that has got something crazy medical. I don't even know what. Um, we had to do it though, you know, because I would rather pay whatever it was to pay for the for the cobra than to pay for, you know, say one of the kids got really hurt or something or goodness only knows. So, well, we just had to do it, you know, we just had to do it. So it's surprising how much we rely on electricity. Yeah, this is true. This is true. Um, I do have a little propane stove, though. We don't have gas, a gas stove. Um, it's okay to share real things, Linda says. Thanks. Let's everyone know it can happen to all of us. This is true. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Depression has the power to make us not see the bigger picture of things. That's true. Yeah, it's so true. Makeup zombie, and I can't think of your first name. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm reading the chat real quick. Healthcare is, yeah, even just regular, like getting the healthcare on the healthcare insurance, uh, healthcare exchange was so expensive. And there were not like any awesome options. We're like, None of them we read and were like, that sounds really good. You know, they were all, <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't good. So, but I guess it's better than the alternative. So we went to an estate sale, Bill B says, uh, from a home of a famous photographer looking at the ones for 250 bucks and selling for a thousand. I'm saying it was cash only. Oh, wow. Um, Come on, we know you're sitting on a pile of gold rings, Mr. Petrie says. Um, maybe I need to sell them. I mean, I guess I, in the in the worst pile of gold rings. That's my dragon hoard. That's where I go sleep at night in my dragon cave on my pile of gold. So, um, that's my happy place. No I'm kidding. <laughs> my Scrooge McDuck dungeon full of gold. Not dungeon. What does he have? He's got like this room full of gold coins that he swims around in. Yeah, like smog <laughs> sitting on a pile of gold. No, but I mean, I do have like some scrap and it'll get you so far. You know, like a bag, little bag where I put scrap earrings and backs and broken bits in. You can always take it to the gold man. Shall we call you smog, right? Why not? <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, there's that. I guess there's always something, right? There's always something. It's just more, you know, and and somebody somebody suggests like, hey, have you thought about putting the kids back in school, you know, until Randy gets a job so you can focus more on business? And honestly, no, I don't want to do that. I don't. I think it's more of a priority you know where when I say like you know like family is a priority like family's number one um, there was enough going on with what was going on with school for me to not want to put them back in school and to kind of take the hit if we had to financially and just kind of hold tighten our belts and hold on and know it was gonna be a wild ride and um, then then take them back so and honestly that's been the the joy of this time for me is having the guys here and having that, you know, like doing the fun learning activities with them and getting to spend so much time with them. And so that's been when everything else has been really low for me, even though I'm not talking about it or anything here very much, that's been the thing that has been the light for me, like keeping me more upbeat. So I could see it be being, <laughs> rough if they were back in school so yeah um dungeon full of gold isn't that a harry potter book there was a dragon in a dungeon that that was in the gringotts though but he's kind of protecting the gold but yeah um just moved to the uk a few months for a few months of free health care mr petrie says there we go. That's what I need to do. Just move over there for a, just for a little bit until it all gets worked out. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I'm not a lot of questions. So I talked about this week, you know, we're we got the reseller prices right on Monday. There's something Tuesday and I can't remember 
Wednesday is merch talk. Thursday, we're going on a field trip, so that'll be awesome. Friday, I'll probably do a jewelry jar. Honestly, I was going back and forth about doing a jewelry jar today instead of talking talking about real life stuff. Um, but I, yeah, I got jewelry jar down here. That's like, I just want to dig into it, but I'm really holding out so I can do it for you guys. Oh, Lydia, thank you so much. Purple Lily, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Yeah, the, the, it's, um, there's a place that does like reenactments and stuff. And so they are going to have people dressed in, um, period, like, I don't know, probably like 1800s time period. And it's it's called Tales of Texas. So there's going to be people talking about like, not necessarily pioneer, maybe pioneer stuff or, you know, just reenacting or talking about like in the olden days in Texas, this is how this was done. And once upon a time in Texas, so I don't know if they're going to be talking about the Texas Rangers or I need to go look at it again, but you know, life, <laughs> life in Texas. <laughs> anyway, so it's, it's going to be fun. I think, um, Alice, uh, and apologies if I'm saying this wrong, you're making sound decisions. If homeschooling is a lifestyle priority, then it, then so be it. Years from now, you'll look back and say, I did what was important to us. Yeah, yeah, talk, absolutely. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, makeup Zombie, okay, you may have popped it in there. What's your first name again? Because I, I feel weird calling you Makeup Zombie all the time. Um, but you put out really good jewelry videos, <laughs> just got to say. Um, yeah, so there's that. Honestly, if you want, I mean, if you want real life stuff, I spent the morning most of it like in pain in bed. So that's kind of what's been going on with me as far as that goes. I talked about it a little bit before. I've been having a lot of like abdominal pain. And so I've had like every test under the sun run. CAT scans, ultrasounds. I just had this HIDA scan done. That was the big one that we just had. I mean, everything, blood tests. And they can't, there's nothing the matter. Every and it's like a daily thing, you know. And so they put me on this FODMAP diet, and even now, like, still, it's super, super, super restrictive. You can't, you just can't eat anything. Um, so, and still, and you know what? And, and I'm, st you know, you just, you just get rid of everything. You can't eat anything. Basically, <laughs> you can have a nut, or you can have a, a half a banana. I don't know. It's, it's, yeah. Anyway. So I've still been drinking coffee, which is not on the no-no list, but I'm still getting, I'm in a lot of pain, but you look marvelous. That's the one perk I was telling Randy, you know, the one perk from this whole thing, having to do this is I'm dropping weight like crazy because I can't eat anything, right? Everything's on the no list. So yeah, it's, and, and that's the thing, Lydia, she says, I hope you feel better. Yeah, I, and I don't, I don't want to be one of those people that talks about their like, their aches and pains all the time, you know? Um, and even when I talk to my mom and she's trying to talk about, you know, like talk me through it. No, it's not diverticulitis either. Trust me, they've been in both ends. Okay. They have done everything and there's nothing the matter. They can't find anything wrong. So <laughs> that's probably TMI. And that's why I don't talk about health stuff generally because, um, yeah, it's, they just don't know. So um, I'm going to order this food Aller, like a food allergy test and a food, not a, um, when you're not allergic, but you're, what's the word, intolerant. So my sister, um, and I'm sorry, I, and that's the thing too, like I don't talk, I don't like, don't feel sorry for me, it's, I'll be fine, I'm not dying, I'm fine, I'm fine. Um, but I'm gonna order this test because my nephew is like allergic to everything or intolerant to everything, like eggs, wheat, blah, 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 blah. So my sister had ordered this test for him, um, where you just take it to a lab, they draw the blood, you send it in, they and then they do like a blood panel, and they'll tell you like, these are the things that you're totally allergic to, and these are the things that you're intolerant to, like you can handle maybe, but maybe not. Um, so I'm like, I'm gonna do it. And she said, well, it's 300 bucks, you know? I'm like, you know what? After every other test that I've done, 300 bucks is nothing. You know, <laughs> if I can find out like what it is, that's what I want to do. So that's what's going on. If that's the real stuff, <laughs> that's what it is. So yeah. Um, if you have questions, I would love to talk about something not that. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> um, oh, cool. Elizabeth. Thanks, Makeup Zombie. It's Elizabeth. 
Um, awesome Power Texas website will help you. Oh, and somebody else was telling me about Energy Ogre. Have you guys heard of that? I was looking into it and then I just didn't follow through with it, honestly. Um, MedShare plan is a Christian sharing medical plan you might want to check into. Oh, I think I will. Um, bye, Alice. Um, oh, yeah, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. You'll find, they will find that you're allergic to everything, probably. I can have water and ice water and hot water. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, but... Oh, come on, you smell at a time and just stop it. That's probably what it is. That's probably exactly what it is. If only they just go in there and get it out now. Um, how's Etsy? It's been so slow. But but the sales I have been getting have been on Etsy. So, but it's been slow. Um, Energy Ogre cost $10 a month. Awesome Power is free. Okay, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to look at it, definitely. Because I'm just... Um, yeah, I feel you. Uh, Brian says in the hospital for like 30 days last year at Thanksgiving, Christmas, or a pancreas. Oh my gosh! See, I was starting to get scared. It was something like really serious. Oh, good, Heather. She just had the ch 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 ching. Where's my phone? I'm trying to get it so you can like rub it off on my phone. I'm rubbing onto your ch ching, Heather, so that I can get one too. But the thing that I did um, sell was something, because I was going through, kind of looking at my listings, like how can I spruce these up, you know, trying to practice what I preach. Um, so I was sprucing up some listings and I um, was pinning some stuff, because I haven't been doing that much. And the one thing, one of the ones that I had spruced up, um, I spruced it on, spruced it? On eBay and on Etsy, and then I pinned it. Um, and I went in and like messed with the price. But I messed, I messed with the price on eBay, but then it sold on Etsy. Is that weird? Does it count? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's sold, right? So, um, and it was like these lucite flower things. So, yeah. Um, my al oh, Murphy, uh, my allergy doctor does the food allergy test. Could you go that route? I could. I, I guess I could ask them. The thing is, like, I just want to make sure they do the one I want, like the comprehensive everything, just everything, not just like they. My son had the one where they like take the thing and they poke you in the back with it and then you put up all the, and then they chart it and see like, no, like I, the one that my sister had done was like 155 things, you know, so I'll have to find out <laughs> for sure. Oh, uh, LaVon, yeah. I mean, it's tough when you get depressed and stuff, you know. Uh, okay. So yeah, that's, I mean, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, we can talk about that. If not, go over there and hit the thumbs up and I'm going to go take my kids to Target because they need shorts because that's what boys do. They grow, always grow. So they, I just went through this morning and pulled all their clothes that were too small for winter. Winter, my nephew, that's his name. And then all the ones that were like torn up or whatever. Don't get depressed. I'm trying my hardest. No, I'm not going to get depressed. I'm determined. I think that's too white. Why? I, and I know some people, I, I don't know if they make fun of me or not. I don't know how people, what, you know, like other people care, whatever, about how many YouTube videos I do. But this is like this, doing YouTube videos and talking to you guys, you know, every day is like part of my positives and Homeschooling my guys is part of my positives, things that keep me upbeat. And my I know my thumbnails are out of control sometimes, but I have so much fun doing them. And I know that, that they're just like so like, I feel like they look like Starbursts or like Skittles, like a rainbow of fruit flavors because they're so like bright and in your face. But I really have like so much fun making them. I, and I just I like, I just like have so much fun like making them. Uh, like yeah, um, but but truly, those are the things that are like the bright spots in my day when I'm struggling through the medical stuff, or when I'm struggling, like oh, stressing out about the money stuff. Oh, you know what, Elizabeth? She, she says we develop a lot of allergies to things as we get older. This is so true. You know what? My grandmother became allergic to chicken. She became allergic to tomatoes, coffee. 
uh, which coffee is what I'm thinking might be one of my triggers. I became allergic to carrots. I don't know if you guys know this about me. I'm allergic to carrots. It started in college. Like I would start feeling just kind of weird after I would eat carrots. And then slowly, it, every time I had carrots, it would get worse and worse and worse. And finally, um, so I realized it was what it was because I would start feeling like my throat closing up. You know, and then I was like, okay, that's it. I'm not eating carrots anymore. And one time we went to this like mom and pop type Italian food place. I was like 23, 25, somewhere in that range. And I had spaghetti, just spaghetti, right? And I started going into anaphylactic shock in, in the restaurant. And I was like, carrots, <laughs> you know, we had to get, and luckily Benadryl was able to like knock it out for me. I just had to go take a bunch of Benadryl and lie down and try to breathe. Um, but they did, they had to pull out their big recipe book because the, the, the ladies were like, I don't think there's carrots, it's spaghetti, you know? And they, they, I was like, carrots, you know, they did. They went and got the big recipe book out for the sauce. And sure enough, it was like three large carrots shredded into sauce. Yep, <laughs> and so, but I didn't used to be allergic to carrots, so that's weird. So that'll be interesting to see if I do this allergy test thing. So anyway, I hope you guys, <laughs> I'm reading the chat like, uh, Brian saying, send me the ad ad and the Falcon. Sure, uh, send me $500, no I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, get, and Richard's saying, get the kids some stretch jumpsuits. That's a really good idea. I think that's a really good idea. I mean, come on, we homeschool now. How much do they really need? <laughs> I'll just get them some underwear and throw them out in the backyard. That's the thing, what my mom was afraid of. So we'll just let them run wild in the woods, set them loose. Um, turn them loose. Uh, oh, thanks, Amy. You don't have time to watch all of them. No, I and I agree. I don't. I wouldn't expect anybody to watch all of them either. I know I've put out a lot of videos. But it truly is. It is something that makes me very happy. Uh, try decaffeinated coffee for a week. Hi. <laughs> that, that to me is the purpose. No, no. Um, yeah, and Randy was suggesting too that he goes and gets. Cold, is it called cold brew coffee? Cold press coffee. Cold press yeah. coffee. Yeah, cold brew. And it's supposed to be less acidic or something like that. So, um, oh, thanks, Murphy. Keep them in PJs. What are PJs? <laughs> My kids quit wearing PJs. Well, they have them. But they just don't wear them. So, yeah. Oh, Bill says he de he developed an allergy to pecans. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oatmeal at Panera. I grew out of it. Okay. Yeah, I, that would be hard because that's one of the things I can't eat. Say hello to your sister. She's very funny. I will. Uh, my sister is. I was talking to her earlier today, so I will definitely do that. And, yeah, okay. I am going to go ahead and go, but thanks you guys for hanging out today, and congrats to the winners. Um, contact me. Well, Gina, I might have your info, maybe. If not, um, contact me and let me know what you, yeah, your email. I need your email. Do I consume any artificial sweeteners? I had a long, had experience with abdominal pain. Um, I do sort of, I drink Diet Dr. Pepper, but not that much. But that's already, like, I, I think, yeah, I haven't had one. Well, maybe I had one yesterday. But, yeah, no. Uh, okay. All right, that's it. I'm going. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Tomorrow, uh, reseller price is right. When you back on here, UK time. I'm going to be back 6 p.m. tomorrow, UK time with the Hills and the Maliks and the Caroline Matthews and hopefully the Tom, the picker, the English picker. Okay, <laughs> yes, Diet Dr. Cooper is bad. Bye guys, and thanks so much for coming to hang out, really. Um, go hit that thumbs up and I will talk to you later. Oh, thanks, Bill. <laughs> let the people know, let the, let the Hollywood TV shows know. <laughs> All right, bye guys, I know I'm stopping, I am. <laughs>